All right, so we got a new volunteer in Serval. We got a couple of guys in the combat unit that got increases in their parameters. So let's set up MSF staff. Wait, actually, let's go into Outer Ops and let's see how our Outer Ops teams have fared. I sent Alpha Team, Charlie Team, and Team Bravo out into combat. And it looks like Team Charlie has got that victory. Same thing with Team Bravo. Let's see how Team Alpha has fared. And Team Alpha got two guys that got increases in their parameters. And we're looking good right here. So let's go into staff and set everything up. Here is Conger. She's that female prisoner that we just took. She's got a high medical team rank, so that's where we're going to put her. But let's look at her rank real quick. She is the only A rank normal soldier or POW or volunteer soldier that I have in my unit. The only other high rank people I have is Hideo and Miller and Huey and them, but they're all unique characters. And she is the first A rank character that I have, so I'm pretty so I'm pretty happy to see that I'm starting to get these high rank guys. So let's set up the rest of these guys. We're going to get our boy Leech, and he's got a lot of C ranks. So I guess I'm going to send him to the medical team. We'll put him right there. And let's see what's going on with Mr. Chameleon. I think I'm going to put him, he's an infantry, let's put him in the intel team, low infantry rank and mechanic guy, he's a low E rank. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to get rid of this dude because I don't need him in the R&D team and there's no space for him, he's very low rank so we're going to get rid of him, let's discharge him. You're fired. Big boss again playing the role of Donald Trump firing suckers. And we also need to get rid of one dude from the combat team so let's get rid of this guy. You're fired. Alright so we're looking good on our unit right here. And let's see what's going on in the R&D front. We don't need to we don't need to develop any weapons or items. So I guess I'm gonna go into recruit, get some volunteers, then reorganize outer ops, and then I will see y'all in the next mission. All right, so Big Boss just escaped the torture chamber that prison cell that Strangelove had him in. So let's go get his gear back. Bad news. The boss has fallen into enemy hands. I'm sure he'll find a way to escape. Actually, I'm more worried about his gear. He's gonna have a tough time without it. That's where you come in. I need you to sneak in through the mine's underground passage and recover all of the boss's equipment. I know you'd like to rescue him yourself, but have faith. This will be more than enough. I'll be watching you. Good luck. Alright, so let's get set up for this mission. We're going to use our boy Alligator, and we're looking pretty good on our items right here. We do need everything, so let's get this started. Gather up all the boss's equipment, and hurry, we got to get to him ASAP. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is come back here and get these file design specs. Now there's five items in this area. First, uh-oh. Let's take this guy out first. One for your back, baby. Another for your chest. Take your nap. We got this guy down here. Let's take him out. It probably wasn't the best idea to use that loud ass motion nagging. Stop moving. Get these shots. Go to sleep. Take your nap. All right, damn, that boy was the one with the caution phase on me. So let's roll down. There's an item over here. We're gonna get that love box. Kidnap this sucker. There's enough Fultons for me to have I have enough Fultons to kidnap everybody in this area, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's hold up this guy over here. Freeze. Recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. There's also an item up in this elevator. I got a call for the elevator. Do I want to take a shot at this guy? Nah, that damn Shagohot is in the way. But there's an item up in this Recovery elevator right here. Helicopter is complete. The bullets. You had to call for the elevator and wait for it to come down. And there's three more items up in this area. I think there are rations right up in this area, right there. And there's a guy up there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, what is what is this boy squatting? You doing squats? You exercise? I'm gonna fuck this dude up. I'm get up here. I'm gonna climb up and give this boy some CQC action. Hey, sucker, go for a ride. Over here doing your damn exercises. There's no time for you to be exercising. You fool, come back to the unit. All right, so we got three more items left. We got one more Holy ration. Recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. We got one ration on this little platform right here, and we have a battery. I can't remember which shagohod it's on, but it's on one of these shagohods. 
Uh, is this this one? Let's check this one right here. Actually, let's take this guy out first. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. How am I missing? What's going on here? Will you take one of these bullets? There we go. There we go. And go to sleep. Get your funky mind. All right, so the battery that I'm looking for is on the other shackle hard. First of all, let's get this guy. And let's get these bullets. equipment is still out there. Make sure you recover it all. And this battery should be on the other shackle hard. So all we got to do is roll over. Come on, stand up. There we go. Roll over right here, get these batteries, and that should be it for this mission. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. Huh. Alright, let's get down and get this done, baby. I don't think there are any more prisoners in this area. I do come to this area in a lot of different missions, so I have a bad memory of what's mission going on. Complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. But I'm pretty sure there are no more prisoners in this area, so we got this mission done. We got all the design specs and the items. We're looking good right here. All right, so we got that A rank on the snake gear retrieval mission. We got level three on the rank two of that Mosin Nagant. Well, not the Mosin Nagant, but the Mark 22. And that's great. All right, so we got another volunteer, Toucan Sam. You gonna give me some of them? What do you call those damn cereals? What's it called? Oh man, I messed up the reference. That's gonna mess with me the entire time. All right, so let's go see what happened with our Autorops team. While I try to remember what cereal Toucan Sam liked. It's really bothering me now. I cannot remember. <laughs> oh no, what the hell happened to my team? We lost a member. A whole lot of guys got sent to the sick bay. Bravo team. Did Bravo team win or lose? What the hell? Oh, we're losing mechs now. I'm sending these guys into very heavy combat situations or heavy combat missions and they're getting taken out. All right, so these are the last couple of guys that I got in the volunteer missions, a bunch of A ranks. So we're starting to get these great soldiers now. Let's get them all set up into their proper units. Infantry, another one of those guys. All right, so what I did in between the last time I was doing the setup and the last mission is I sent a lot of these guys who don't have correct skills according to their job. Like this guy's an infantry guy, but he doesn't have the highest skill in the combat unit. So what I did is I sent him to the trade waiting room so I can try to see if I can trade it with somebody else who has a high level C guy. And I might want that guy or, well, C is not really a high rank. I can see if I can trade that guy out because sometimes when these guys have these jobs like infantry and, and then they don't have the skills that match it up, that really messes with my borderline OCD obsession of how to organize my unit. So I'm going to just get rid of that guy eventually. All right, so this guy's a mechanic, but he's only a D rank. So I'm not going to replace him with anybody. Nutritionist, you're a D rank. I think we got a space for you. We got that Mate rank 4, we'll get that developed. Mechanic, mechanic, food technician. So we'll get another guy in that mess hall team. And the rest of your mechanics are pretty low level, so we're going to be firing the three of you suckers. Alright. I did not mean to put them in the damn R&D team. Actually, let's get rid of these three bottom guys. You're fired. And then we gotta get rid of three guys from the combat unit. So we'll get rid of you, you and you bottom guys all right so we're looking good let's go and see if we can get some items developed we got that FAL that we just got from that last mission those design specs and that mate that we just got from putting those guys in that damn food unit mess hall unit what the hell is a food unit all right so let's go get some volunteers hopefully and then I'll organize our ops and then I will see y'all in the next mission All right, so the next mission that we need to do, we need to head for Peace Walker's hangar. Snake, Peace Walker is being prepped for activation in the hangar at the bottom of the base. Get in there and destroy the AI before it's activated. All right, so we really don't have any briefing that we need to do specifically for this mission, but I do want to talk to Huey about the crazy bitch that he loves that just tortured my ass. Let's talk to him about Strange Love and his letter to Strange Love. Did you, um, 
give that letter to Dr. Strangelove? Uh, no. Why not? I gave it to you for a reason. It's highly important information. Sorry. I didn't exactly have an opportunity to play postman. Well, next time you see her, you make sure she gets it. Oh, yeah, sure. Better for you if she doesn't. Snake! What? Tell me you didn't read the letter. No, no. You did! I mean, you never know what kind of information could affect the outcome of an operation, right? So, I... So you read the letter, after I specifically told you not to. What do you expect people to do when you tell them not to read something? I thought I knew you, Snake. I thought I could trust you. But now I see I was wrong. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, but I just don't get what you see in her. Well, I wouldn't expect a barbarian who opens other people's private correspondence to understand. Fine then, deliver it yourself. Huh? What? No, 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 I, no, no way. I could never... <sighs> You've got a long way to go, Huey. All right, so I'm listening to that conversation in real time, but when I'm editing this video, I'm pretty sure that I will overlay that letter because you got to read it from the R&D screen. So I put it on the assassin box right here, and we're gonna head for Peace Walker's hangar. Time's running short. Get over to Peace Walker's hangar now. All right. So like I said before, you do come into this area a lot of times. This is like the third time in a row. Well, not in a row, but in a very short time that you come into this area right here. Freeze. So I'm gonna see if I can get all the items and enemies that I want in this area. Let's start scanning. Let's see what this boy is worth. C rank on the intel team. I could take him. C rank on that R&D will take you. We'll take you. I got a lot of D ranks and a lot of E ranks. That boy was screaming. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Ooh, there's a lot of suckers over here. Ooh, there's a lot of suckers over here, man. D rank, you're gonna be sitting over here. You'll enjoy your little, your little time being held up. But I am gonna see if I can kidnap your homies over here, man. Let's see what you're working with. Get your D rank, I ain't taking you anywhere, sucker. How about you? What you working with? D rank, all you guys are bums. In fact, you're about to get juked up. Get your punk ass. How you like that? It's electric. Oogie, oogie, oogie. Let me stop. <laughs> All right, so there's no more prisoners in this area, I don't think. Oh, I just I spoke too soon. Let's get this fool. I always like taking the mechanics out of this area because they're pretty much always high level. And I want to see what you're working with, with your mustache. And you got them good eats, so I'm taking you, sucker. And we're going to take the elevator out of this area. Alternately, what you could do is you could go over there and there's a door. That'll take you to the upper Find area. Until the elevator arrives. Don't let anyone detect you. This elevator takes you to the lower areas of the next couple of areas. It'll be on the lower path. If you go over there on the other side and take that path, that doorway, it'll put you on the upper path of each of these areas, the underground passages, both A and B. But we gotta make our way over to the Peace Walker hangar, that's the goal. Enemies that coordinate their attacks are too much trouble when you're solo. Just steer clear. Or we could just knock them all the hell out. And see if we want the good ones. Actually, that tip is pretty good because these guys are pretty good at coordinating their attacks. And if one guy goes down, the other guy will notice. Well, that was a bad example because these two suckers were looking in two different directions. And I was able to pick them right the hell on off, but... I'll take you. Joe C rank in the medical team. I always wondered why they put the medical guys and the mess hall guys out into combat. Uh oh. 
Gotta be careful of these two suckers. Can't see nothing. Sometimes I wish you could aim while you had a enemy in CQC like you could in Metal Gear Solid 4. But then again, this was a PSP game and that probably wasn't possible with those controls. Alright, so that'll lead you to the end of this area. What I want to do is I want to get on top of this area. And you can do that. Helicopter is complete. You can do that by coming over here to one of these side doors. And you can get up on the second area. Usually there's prisoners up here or more enemies. You ain't see nothing. Stop moving. See, that's the path that would have led you back from that area. In that last area that we were in. Let's see if you're worth anything. Deep rank, you a bum. Let's get this guy over here. And let's see if homeboy over here with the... Let's see if this boy has got any skills. Now nah, you a bum too. Just as you could come into these areas on the top of the bottom path, you can also advance from the top of the bottom path as well. All right, Peace Walker can't be far. Hurry. But what I like to do is I like to check each of these areas, and we gotta mess with these soldier suckers again. You ain't see nothing. You ain't see nothing. Don't come around this way, cause you gonna get messed up. You ain't see nothing. Hmm? You heard a noise, sucker. Why don't you check that out? What's that noise? Yeah, just check it out. See what's going on over there. So I can walk up behind you and fuck you up. Get your punk ass shield. Put that shit down. You little sucker. And get juked up. What's your skills? You got the skills that pay the bills? You ain't shit. That's why you had to use a shield. Because you suck. Alright, so with this dude, I'm going to try and sneak up on him and do the same thing but I might have to cover my advance with smoke I'm definitely gonna have to cover my advance What's with that? smoke it looks like he would've saw me that's gonna go way too far off man, have some smoke for you baby here's a third one for you yeah, you don't know what's going on I wish you could throw these dudes over the edge sometimes it's like an invisible wall that they get plastered up against but sometimes I wish you could just chuck suckers mm -hmm. although that probably would not be the best idea because I think there's guys below here Ooh, I was right Freeze. you ain't see nothing and you ain't see nothing what's your skills tell me if you're good to kidnap baby you're a D rank you're a bum and you are a C rank I can take you how many do I have left we got three. Oh, mr. shield guy you ain't see nothing don't come over here stop Stop in the name of love. He's going to come over here and try to wake this guy up. Oh, he didn't see him. He didn't see him. I'm all right. We got two more enemies in this area. I don't think we have any more prisoners. But I do want to hold up these last two guys to see if they have any skills that pay the bills. And actually, we've got enough Fultons to get them both. I think there's one more dude over here. I almost ran right past him, dude. That, that would have been ugly. All right, let's see what you got, boy. Let's see what you got, sucker. All right, so you're a D rank in the engineer. Well, not the engineer team, but the R&D team. I really don't need that. So, uh, sometimes, even though we don't have a lot of guys in all these units, I will take you. Because we do need guys in the missile team. It's too late, big boss. Snake! Pass. At last I found her. The culprit who led you here to begin with. Should have taken care of her back at the supply facility. Snake, don't! The mammal pod is finished. Peace Walker's activation sequence is complete. Finished. With the boss, you were loyal to the end. I'll grant you that. But your silence was exactly the answer I needed. Ten years ago, your mission was to kill her. And her mission was to be killed by you. She fulfilled her duty to America to the very end. Thanks to you, Snake, 
The final missing piece is now in place. And thus, the boss is restored to life as the mammal part. I thank you. Restored to life? You're crazy! I'll let you in on a little secret, big boss. You see, I've already selected Peace Walker's initial target. An offshore area in the Caribbean. The trade winds will scatter the fallout all over the surrounding region. Crops and fish will die, leaving plenty of free hands to help us mass produce Peace Walker. Oh, and wouldn't you know, someone's gone and built a pesky little fortress there. Now who would do that? And right in the middle of the target zone too. <laughs> oh well, all the better to test the warhead CEP. You bastard! I wonder who'll miss a ragtag band of pirates all the way out in the middle of the Caribbean. But first, we're going to prove to the White House that our baby can travel the Caribbean coast on its own. The whole world will know of Peace Walker's versatility. They'll witness the birth of a deterrent that can penetrate both communist and guerrilla controlled territory, traverse any kind of terrain, and deliver a nuke anywhere it needs to go. Untouchable. Unstoppable. The perfect deterrent. The Cold War's days are numbered. Deterrence isn't only about America and Russia now. You know what? You're absolutely right. While we've been wringing our hands, China, France, even India have surpassed us. There's a free-for-all nuclear arms race brewing just below the surface. The nuclear threat will only spread, which is exactly why we must deter it here and now. And the Peace Walker Project is the key. The advent of Peace Walker will bring calm to this restless world. Don't you see, Snake? We need nukes, controlled nukes, to have peace. Lies! Peace Walker will restore order, order, in the form of a new Cold War. But if the world is to understand the genius of our plan, we must launch! Snake! Stop them, Snake! Don't let him get away! The music is bumping. And there's a damn good reason for that. Because here it comes. Peace Walker. There goes the mammal pod. Boss is AI. I like how that boy Big Boss has not backed up a step. Unafraid, unintimidated. What? What did I do? Spitting fire, and we're gonna rumble. All right, so the head from Peace Walker's hangar mission is complete. We got there, but we did not get there in time. Peace Walker has been activated, and we're gonna be rumbling with it in the next mission.
Snake, I got another report from the R&D team. They finished converting Mother Base into a hex plant. MSF's capabilities are up across the board, too. Our combat team's contracts keep increasing. We're seeing action on a daily basis, and we're raking in a ton of GMP. Now this is how a business is supposed to look. At this rate, the sky's the limit. We're just getting started, Snake. Keep up the great work.